Welcome to the chapter Patterns. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Differentiate Patterns Demonstrate Sequential and Non-Sequential Patterns Explain the Cutting of Patterns Identify the rotation and repetition of patterns. Solve the numbers using patterns rule. Demonstrate the tricks on numbers. Tabulate the magic squares. Introduction In this chapter, we are going to learn about patterns and different forms of patterns. Actually, what is a pattern? How many forms of patterns are present? Let us see what is a pattern. A pattern is something that repeats over and over again in a sequential order. Some patterns may not change their shapes, but there may be change in their color. It can form in a sequential or non-sequential form, jumbling form. Let us perform an activity on sequential and non-sequential patterns. Observe the following patterns. Drag and drop the next pattern. Let us perform a lab activity on cutting in patterns. Click each tab to know more. Objective The aim of this activity is to cut a pattern to make a paper chain. Materials required The materials used in this activity are Long thin strip of paper Color or white Pencil Pair of scissors. Procedure. Take a long thin strip of paper, color or white. Fold it like a fan as shown in the above figure. Draw the shape of a star on the folded paper. Cut along the dark lines. Now open it and observe. Conclusion From this activity, we observe the repeated arrangement of stars in a sequential order. So, we may conclude that the pattern constitutes a set of objects or shapes in which all the members are related to each other by a specific rule. Let us do an example on patterns that rotate and repeat. Let us now look at some patterns which rotate and repeat their shape. Let us observe the given figure. Now rotate the given figure one fourth times to its original place and observe the pattern. Look at the above pattern. Each turn is one fourth part of the entire circular rotation. Now rotate the given figure by one by two turn repeatedly and observe the pattern below. Now, rotate the given figure by one-eighth turn repeatedly and observe the pattern below. Let us perform an activity on rotate and repeat the patterns. Drag and drop the appropriate pattern. Now, we will study the number patterns. A number pattern is a series of numbers that follow a rule. For example, here the math sticks are arranged in a pattern by following a number rule. Here the number of math sticks keeps increasing by one number that is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 
Here is a number pattern. Look at the sequence of numbers. Can you guess the next number? In this number pattern, start at 1 and add 2 each time. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Keep adding 2 each time. The next number will be 9 plus 2 which is equal to 11. Let us see some examples on number pattern. Look carefully at the given number series 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Here the series starts at 5 and add 5 each time. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Keep adding 5 each time. But the same number pattern follows another number rule. That is to multiply 1, 2, 3 and so on by 5. So these series of numbers make a pattern and can be extended based on their rule like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. A number pattern could be arithmetic which is adding or subtracting a regular amount to a number. Or the pattern might be geometric which is multiplying or dividing by a regular amount. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us see the conversation on numbers trick. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Pavan. I hope you're enjoying the holidays. Not at all. In fact, I'm so bored being alone at home. Okay, shall I tell you some interesting tricks to play? Yes, of course. We call it as numbers trick. Numbers trick? What's that? Don't you know? Okay, I will tell you. Okay, tell me. Take any two-digit number, but don't tell me. Okay. Add 5 to that number, then multiply the number by 2. Okay. Now subtract 10 from that number. Okay. Yes, now show me the number you got. 46. The number you selected is 23, right? Yes, you are amazing. How do you know that? 23 plus 5 equals to 28. 28 multiplied by 2 equals to 56. 56 minus 10 equals to 46. 46 divided by 2 equals to 23. Is that clear? Yes, and thanks for the trick. Let us see some example problems. Let us look at some tricks on numbers. Let us learn the 9 table in an easy way. I think every one of you knows the 9 table. But there is an alternate method or we can say a simple logic in it. 
Let us learn ninth table in an easy way to remember. If we observe closely in the results of each multiplication, there is a decrease in number in units place and an increase in number in tens place. Also, if we add the individual digits of multiples of 9, we will get the result as 9. Let us discuss about magic squares. In mathematics, a magic square is an arrangement of distinct numbers. Each number can be used only once. In a square grid, in which the sum of each individual column or row or diagonal numbers must be equal. Calculation of first row equals to 6 plus 1 plus 8 equals to 15 and first column equals to 6 plus 7 plus 2 equals to 15. Second row equals to 7 plus 5 plus 3 equals to 15 and second column equals to 1 plus 5 plus 9 equals to 15. Third row equals to 2 plus 9 plus 4 equals to 15 and third column equals to 8 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 15. With this, we can say that if the sum of two rows and columns in a square grid and also diagonal numbers are equal, then it is said to be a magic square. Let us perform an activity on magic squares. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answer. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. A pattern is a repeated decorative design. It can be formed in a sequential or non-sequential form, jumbling form. Some patterns may not change their shapes, but there may be a change in their color. A magic square is an arrangement of distinct numbers. Each number can be used only once. In a square grid, in which sum of each individual column or row must be equal, Follow up word. Carry the following patterns one step backward and forward. Write a three digit, four digit, and five digit number that are multiples of nine. Evaluation. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Patterns.